Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone 11 Pro that has a very weird problems. So it's not just one problem. So let's begin with the first one, which is the sound. So basically there is no sound in the device and just get stuck on the maximum volume. As you can see in the control center, cannot volume down or up. And the second problem is with the cameras. So all the cameras are opening, but then glitches right away the front camera and all other cameras and there is also a little hint from the customer the customer said that the phone is restarting sometimes I always check the panics so that's why we're going to do this right away the panics are very helpful to know where is the problem and in newer iOS's when you have a problem and the phone restarts from this problem you will always end up with a panic in privacy analytics data so now let's jump to privacy analytics data and let's open the first panic which it says i2c2 check bus station but let's continue reading and a little down you can see audio speaker top now i2c2 uh, i guess it's a problem with the audio but again we have also a problem with the camera so i have absolutely no idea and now we're going to open all other cameras as you can see audio speaker top and now let's jump to the other one and uh, yeah I guess the same now the first thing to do is just if you have another uh, home or house just get the board and put it in other house so this uh, I put the board in uh, other housing I also disconnected the upper flex cable and all the uh, face ID the front camera and the face ID dot projector and the infrared camera as you can see the result still the same why I disconnected the upper flex cable because it said audio speaker top so that's why I disconnect the flex and as you can see the result still the same we can add volume up volume down and the cameras are still glitchy so now we'll go under the microscope and see what is waiting for us because the problem is in the board so I can still see the black stickers that means that the board is clean but still before we separate the boards let's take a quick look on the top speaker connector and the front camera connector and measure them quickly now the ground on the speaker top to coil up positive line can be low resistance keep in mind now let's continue measuring the connector itself um, speed forward in everything okay just to make sure that everything is okay now this is the front camera connector let's measure I to see two top speaker panic could be anything especially from camera or the top speaker so after we measured uh, everything what we needed now we can go and continue the repair by separating the boards separated the boards and from the look of the two boards uh, there are a couple of gray pads and it also could be the problem but the best way to see and check if we have this connection between the pad and the root itself on the board is by cleaning the pads with my soldering iron and everything and if everything is okay we will go and test the board function with the board tester So this is the only pad that was removed from the root itself, but still the root is there. And by the way, I did restore the device after all the measurements, but I didn't show in the video. And this line or this pad is called AP2 NFC device wake. And after I restored, I couldn't activate it. So this is a very important line because any error with the NFC could cause a problem with the activation. So you must renew the line and then go and activate it and test. So I managed to activate the device, so here's a very weird note, because I tried the upper board alone, also tested another board on the same iOS, and the volume is still stuck on maximum, and that is on iOS 15.2.1. Maybe Apple will fix this in the future, but of course the audio amplifier I see is on the RF side, 
but still stuck on maximum. So maybe that's why we had a problem with the sound because there was a bad connection with the RF port. That is just to keep in mind. And now let's go and test the boards together with the board tester. So the phone boots up and as you can see we have we can control the volume up and down and of course we are going to test the sound just a little bit okay everything looks okay we have a sim card we have everything now let's go and try the sound by the way this glitch is because the board tester that's okay already tried another board I thought that it is a problem, but here we go, as you can see, or as you can hear, we have a sound, we can control the sound, volume up, volume down, and now we still have left the, with the camera, so let's go to the camera, and yep, the camera does not glitch, the three cameras are not glitching, and also the front camera, so I guess, uh, Maybe the problem was uh, still in the board connections, but again, why the camera is glitching, I have absolutely no idea, but the camera is working okay. I guess now uh, the final test is to solder the boards together and again test the sound and also test the cameras if everything works well. That means that the problem was in the boards or the connection between the boards. So let's go to the final test, everything is soldered back, and now let's go and test the cameras. I guess they are not glitching. Uh, most of the glitches that happened in the board tester, it could be due to the board tester, or it could be due to uh, an iOS bug, I guess. I don't know if Apple will fix it in the future updates. As you can see, we have a sound, and now let's just go and put a SIM card. Try to call someone, voice memos. And also every time you put a SIM card, the first thing it says that there is no SIM card and then says that you have a service. And yes, we have everything looks okay. Again, everything looks fine. Just go and test the final thing, which is the face ID, which I guess everything looks okay. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. As always, stay safe and have a good day. I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.